Love. What's the opposite of love? It's not hate and it's not fear. The opposite of love is lack of love. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman and I'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. We begin every week with a happy share. And a happy share is something that leaves you feeling good and leaves you feeling happy. And the more that you're in the habit of looking for things that leave you feeling happy, the more you see, because they're there all the time. And the universe notices you're looking for what makes you happy. And the universe always delivers what you ask for. So my happy share this week is, hmm, there's always so many to choose from. I found somebody to mow my lawn. That might not sound like much, but I've called six different professional companies and they either don't answer the phone, don't recall, don't return the call, or haven't been showing up when they said they would. So I found somebody who had been looking for a kid in the neighborhood and there he is right across the street. So I'm pretty happy that my lawn will be taken care of because right now it's still smoky out there and hot and I just have other things to do. So I want to talk to you today about love and what it's all about. Love's opposite is a lack of love. You either live in love for yourself, for other people, things, the planet, or you don't it's kind of like being pregnant. You can't be a little bit living in love. You're either there or you're not. And when can you love? There's only a time that you can act. Only one time and that's now. You only live in the now. You can only take action now. Your past is gone. Everything that happened until this moment is your past. And here's the thing, if you're living in your past, if you're giving energy to memories of things that happened before, memories that made you angry, frustrated, sad, and even memories that made you happy, your energy's going back there. But you need your energy to make it through today, to make it through this moment. The only time that you act, have feelings, or thoughts that move your life is in the now. And when you live in the now, you have to live in love because your energy is all here in the now. The more you're living in the present moment, the more you're living in love. So where are you in your life? Do you see everyone who exists as the whole perfect divine spirit, who they really are, just as you are? Because if you don't, you're not living in love. You're somewhere back here. Hopefully, not all the way back here, because the further back you are, the farther you are from now, and you're not going to know happiness until you know love for yourself first, and then for others. If you're in the ministry site and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold a Space For. Now when we hold a space for someone, we envision them living a reality that they currently aren't in, but they want it. Maybe they want to move someplace else. Maybe they're looking for a new relationship. Maybe they want a new job. Maybe they want a new bike. I don't know. Is there something you want that's not in your world now? If there is, go in down there, let us know what it is. And then come back here at least once a week. Tell everybody you know to come back here too. And then go up to the Hold the Space for a page, read each name and the request. You don't have to know who the people are. The universe does. So when you put out that thought form for what you want, it's a little thought form. But what if 10, 20, 100, a thousand people are putting out that thought form and it's going out there 
it's really big. Other people will grab onto it and make it even bigger. And maybe your desire will manifest even sooner. And maybe someone else will kind of piggyback on your desire. You might not just change your own life. You just may change other lives too. Now, if you've never done so, going over there, give me your name and email, and I will send you a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. I really appreciate your clicking like and share and letting others know there's some place they can go that's not about religion. And it doesn't matter if they're in a religion or if they're not. Because this is a community for people who are on their spiritual path and into understanding metaphysics. Because metaphysics explains how we create our reality. Quantum physics shows it through experiment and metaphysics explains the philosophy. I'm so glad you joined us here today. I wish you a week creating love by living in the now. And so very many blessings that will totally come your way. Hold the space for means to see somebody living a future that they don't, sorry. If you're on a ministry strike, 